Good morning children. So, we started the lesson how do organisms reproduce and first we studied about the DNA copying and there is a small portion variation and that will be taken in the Zoom class. So, today we are going to start the mode of reproduction used by the single organisms. So, the single organism you know there is only one cell and how reproduction take place. See the first process is fission. Fission means a division. See in the case of amoeba there is only one cell. How the reproduction is taking place? That cell divides into two. That fission divides that is known as the binary fission. Dividing the body into two. First there is a shrink appears. Shrink means See the body of the this um, amoeba. See a small shrink appears. Then the cytoplasm divides. Then the nucleus divides and the two parts are formed there. Each one grows into an individual. That process is known as the fission. Fission means a division. See the binary fission means a dividing the body into two. That is usually taking place in a amoeba. In some unicellular organism, for example in the case of Leishmania, Leishmania is causing a disease known as the Kalasar. See there also this uh, type of binary fission occurs. In some organisms this binary fission occurs in a definite orientation in relation to this structure. In some organisms for example the malarial parasite, the plasmodium virus that divide into many daughter cells simultaneously by multiple fission. See only one cell is there in plasmodium virus. This plasmodium virus that is causing the malaria. Malaria is transmitted by the mosquito but it is caused by the plasmodium. See the how the virus is transmitting there. See it is transmitted by the Culex mosquito. The division inside the body, the virus divided into number of daughter cells and each cell grows into a new individual. But in the case of amoeba, binary fission takes place. That means the body divides into two. In Leishmania also a process like binary fission takes place. But in the case of plasmodium, the body divides into different that one cell divides into different cell and that is a type of fission also. Fission means a division. So the next type of reproduction is a fragmentation. Fragmentation means example the spirogyra. See the body splits up into small pieces upon maturation. Uh, when the body becomes matured that divides into small small pieces. These pieces or fragments grows into individuals. Example Spirogyra. The body simply breaks up. When the body matured, the body breaks up into small small pieces after maturation. That process is known as the fragmentation. But this is not true for the multicellular organisms. Why? See, in the case of human beings, you think if the human body is cut into so many pieces, can each part grow into another human being? No, it is impossible. Why? See, there are specific organs functioning there. The reason is that many multicellular organisms there, this is not a simple random collection of cells. There are specialized cells are organized as tissues and tissues are organized into organs and each organ have a specific function. So the fragmentation is not possible in the case of multicellular organisms. In multicellular organism each cell perform specialized functions. Then the next one is a regeneration. See you have seen the case of lizard. If its tail is cut off, is that shed off and after some time a small uh, you can see the tail is again 
growing there. See what is regeneration in animals like Hydra and Planaria. If we cut into small pieces, each piece grows into a complete organ. So what is the difference between fragmentation and regeneration? Fragmentation means naturally when the body matures, the body cuts up into simply into small small pieces. And each part grows into a new individual. But regeneration is if we cut an organism into small pieces, that each part can, if we cut only, that part grows into another individual. So I think you understood the difference between fragmentation and regeneration. This is automatically happening there. This happens only if we cut the body into small pieces. So this is having, you can see in Hydra and Planaria. Then the next one is a budding. Budding is usually you can see in Hydra. In the body of Hydra, see for example, this is the body of the Hydra. Hydra it is like a plant but it is an animal. A small bud appears in its body. Small buds appears in its body. When that bud matures, this detaches from the body and fall off. And that is known as budding. See the, in the case of a hydra, small buds appears in its body and that bud detaches from its body and each bud develops into a new individual. And that is known as the budding. So these are the different process of reproduction, fission, fragmentation, regeneration and budding. Fission example, amoeba, fragmentation example, spirogera, regeneration example, planaria, budding example, hydra. So we can study our next portion of the Zoom class. So thank you all.